Thank you for joining us, everyone. Today, we're talking about everything new with Disneyland. Um, I'm excited to hear what you've got to share. Frank, I'm going to let you take it away. All right. Well, good afternoon, everyone, or whatever time you may be joining us for this. Today, I'm excited to be talking about the Disneyland Resort in Southern California. This is, of course, the original home to the magic and an amazing vacation destination. And I cannot believe we just celebrated our one year of reopening from the pandemic. So it's great that we've got a year under our belt and I'm back and open and welcoming guests like you to the Disneyland Resort. With that, I'm gonna dive right in. I do have a really short video um, that I wanted to share with you that although it's a little dated, um, is a great one about our reopening. So let me just show that one to you quick and we'll continue on. Maybe. It almost feels like a dream. An amusement. represents a piece of really Americana. It's a happy place. It's a, a place where you can forget about everything else that you got going on in the world. Really surreal seeing fun, you know. They feel like a part of my life that's been missing for a really long time. I got up this morning and I was doing the Disneyland happy dance. I missed it so much. I have butterflies every time I come in. It just brings me happiness and just a remembrance of our family coming when I was a child. My grandson's here, my wife, and uh, just have a great time with the family. This seriously makes me feel like a kid. I get so giddy when I come here. I went straight to the Incredicoaster. That's the first ride we went on. I'm excited to go ride Rise of the Resistance again. It's a small world because it's a connection between me and my mom. Sharing this experience with my kids, it's the memories that they're going to remember. I can't wait to see the castle light up again. I just love coming back. It's just really special for me and my heart and my family. Every time I've come to the park, I always look at Walt's light, knowing that that was on, leaving that beacon so that when we come back, we feel that joy again. The fact that Walt's light never went out is inspiring. Just for it to be open and bring the magic back can lighten up our life and bring hope for the future. To all who come to this happy place, welcome. All right, so a little bit about the Disneyland Resort and our legacy. You may have heard it before, it all started with Walt and Walt started it at Disneyland. Walt Disney opened Disneyland Park on July 17, 1955 with hopes that it would become a source of joy and inspiration to the world. Since then, the Disneyland Resort in Anaheim has welcomed more than 800 million guests to the happiest place on earth. And one second with Just one moment. Well, it looks like things are all freezing up on my computer. One moment. Don't worry, it'll be fine. <laughs> I'm like all of a sudden PowerPoint just is like, no, we're not gonna do that anymore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, one more second here. It'll be fine. I think it's almost back.
So I'm going to ask everyone who has been to Disneyland, those of you who are on the call or um, no, we did not lose sound. We're still working on the, uh, the um, technical part of it, but I'm just curious who has been to Disneyland. I've been there. Who else? Mandy's been there. Jamie went once. Oh, for a lot of people, it's been a long time or they're going for their first time, Frank. So yeah. Yeah. I'll let you take it away. All right. I think, I think we're back up and running, hopefully. So sorry about the technical challenge. Um, who knows? Sometimes PowerPoint does what it wants to. So Disneyland Resort has expanded to become an approximately 500 acre, multifaceted, world-class family resort destination, complete with two renowned Disney theme parks, three hotels, and the existing shopping, dining, and entertainment district known as Downtown Disney. Disneyland introduced the world to an entirely new concept in family entertainment and has a special place in the hearts of all who come through that lasts a lifetime. We continue to embrace magical moments and fond memories for guests of all ages and encourage them to bring their loved ones along with them to experience magic for generations to come. Today and beyond, we continue to use creativity, technology, and innovation to bring storytelling to new heights with our most powerful and beloved characters, while fulfilling Walt Disney's vision that Disneyland will never be complete as long as there is imagination left in the world. Our advancements in digital have been a key to this by enhancing your experience. These digital features are designed to be intuitive, save time, and make it easy for you to maximize your experience right from your mobile device and ultimately get more magic throughout your visit. As part of this, you'll notice things like our Park Pass reservation system, our mobile order, online and mobile enhancements, and virtual queue, all available to you through the Disneyland app. Let's start with a little bit of an overview of the destinations and where the magic began at Disneyland. Today, Disneyland Park is an evolving American institution covering nearly 100 acres and featuring more than 60 adventures in nine themed lands with the addition of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge in 2019. Favorite Disneyland attractions include Pirates of the Caribbean, Star Tours, It's a Small World, one of my personal favorites, Indiana Jones and the Temple of the Forbidden Eye, um, incredible entertainment characters, and of course, favorite eats throughout the parks like the world famous Dole Whip. As guests returned to the Disneyland Resort, some classic attractions reopened with creative and technological enhancements, as well as the return of fantastical fireworks and family fun dance party with Mickey's Mix Magic on select nights. The day is not complete with a visit without a visit to the remote planet of Batu, waiting for travelers to live out their their own Star Wars adventure. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge opened on May 31st, 2019 and was the most expansive land opening in Disneyland history. While you explore Batu, you experience a robust offering including tasting unique concoctions at Oga's Cantina, building your own lightsaber at Savi's Lightsaber Workshop, character walkarounds, savoring fun treats, and exploring in-world merchandise and more. You can take control of the most famous ship in the galaxy aboard Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run and experience a climatic battle between the Resistance and the First Order on Rise of the Resistance. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at Disneyland Park is sure to attract anybody interested in the Star Wars cinematic universe. Only a short walk from the Disneyland Park across the promenade is Disney California Adventure Park. 
Since its opening in 2001, the second park has been bringing adventure and fun to life with Disney storytelling magic, more than 35 attractions, distinctive entertainment and dining. The park features eight lands, including the 12 acre Cars Land, the reimagined Pixar Pier and the all new Avengers Campus. From high speed adventures and family friendly attractions, and especially with a whole new generation of new classics, you can enjoy your favorite story coming to life at Disney California Adventure Park. Even more so now with superheroes from across the galaxy, they forged the Avengers Campus, an all new complex dedicated to champion the next generation of superheroes. Whether a lifelong fan of superheroes or discovering them for the first time, you can visit the all new Avengers Campus and live out your superhero dreams and discover action packed escapades and compelling stories. In this fully immersive land that's fun for all ages, the story unfolds with authentic details as Avenger Campus is comprised of several heroic locations, each hosted by a different hero to share their unique powers and knowledge with new recruits. This is the most technology and content integrated land at any Disney park, and it's our number one priority for you to visit this year. The immersive land presents the first Disney ride through attraction to feature Spider-Man, which by the way, my God kids continue to beat me on each and every time, but it is one of my favorite attractions at California Adventure. Multiple heroic encounters with Avengers and their allies. Groundbreaking tech-centric gear at web suppliers. Perfectly sized snacks upsizing at Ant-Man and the Wasp shrinking and growing technology at the PEM test kitchen. And the Avengers favorite food at Shawarma Palace. Embark on an action-packed adventure alongside the amazing Spider-Man when Peter Parker's helpful but otherwise buggy spider bots get stuck in replication mode and escape from the web workshop. Spider-Man must stop the rampaging robots before they wreak total havoc across Avengers campus. Perfect for up and coming recruits with no height restrictions. The experienced web slingers of Spider-Man adventure, guests are required to join the virtual queue periodically throughout the year. Please talk to your travel advisor about when virtual queue is being utilized. Now, as part of Avengers Campus, you can continue thrilling missions on Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. Star-Lord, Gamora, Rocket, Drax, and Groot are held captive in the electrified glass cases that dangle perilously over an abyss. Join Rocket on a thrilling mission to rescue the Guardians of the Galaxy from the Collector's Fortress. As you explore the campus, you will experience a series of heroic encounters, cosmic wonders, and unexpected events that place you in the center of the action. With heroes like Iron Man, Captain America, Black Panther, and the Dora Milaje, there are over 15 heroes that you can potentially see throughout Avengers Campus on a single visit. Plus, timed with new studio and Disney Plus releases, you can encounter new heroes stopping into Avengers Campus for a short visit for their next adventure. At Avengers Campus, the Avengers and their allies will champion the next generation for heroes for many years to come. Back to the promenade and conveniently located adjacent to the Disney theme parks and hotels, the downtown Disney district offers an eclectic array of dining, shopping, and entertainment, all with a touch of Disney magic. This walking promenade is a 20 acre, 300,000 square foot avenue that includes a diverse collection of casual restaurants, favorite snacking stops, and shopping boutiques including key staples like Ballast Point, Splitsville, Black Tap Burgers and Shakes, the Lego Store, Sephora, Sprinkles, and more. You can explore Marceline's Confectionery 
World of Disney, and Star Wars Trading Post for your favorite merchandise and themed food. One of my favorites at Mercelline's Confectionery is the new Chiro Toffee. It's a must try the next time you're out at Disneyland Resort. You can continue your immersion in the magic by staying at one of the three hotels of the Disneyland Resort. You become immersed with a stay at Disneyland. Each hotel is uniquely themed and a destination in their own, offering you legendary cast service, close proximity to the theme parks in downtown Disney, themed swimming pools, and magical touches all around. There is so much for you to experience at the Disneyland Resort, but that's not all. The magic continues even more. New features are coming for your hotel stay included in the Disneyland app. And these features continue to evolve and grow. Here, you'll be able to link your hotel package and your reservation, complete your online check-in, and then once you're at the resort, you'll be able to use your mobile device and the Disneyland app to unlock your room, view your room number, make charges back to your hotel room, and of course, complete your checkout, all helping you bypass the front desk during your stay, saving you time and giving you more opportunity to enjoy your Disneyland vacation. Now that we've talked a bit about why, why now is a great time to visit Disneyland, let's talk briefly about the health and safety. At the top of all of your communications from your travel professionals, you will be provided the link to the Know Before You Go guide. This guide will help you understand what is open and available during your Disneyland trip. And as we are all acutely aware of over the past few years, health and safety measures do continue to change and evolve and will continue to be updated at the Disney um, Know Before You Go guide for you to always know what the current health and safety situation is in Southern California. At this time, I'm super happy to say that face coverings are no longer required in Southern California for your visit to the Disneyland Resort, but are still encouraged for all of our non-vaccinated guests. Jamie, thanks for asking. Jamie asked, when will the um, online check-in and room key be available? It's actually available now. Both of them are up and running so that you can use your Disneyland app. Um, as well, make sure you always do your online check-in because it does save you a ton of time from check-in. And if for some reason your mobile device isn't working the way you would like it for your room, once you've done your online check-in, you can always stop by the front desk and still pick up a physical key card if you would prefer. Thank you for that question, Jamie. There have been some um, other recent updates as well to make your stay even better when visiting the Disneyland Resort with new technology enhancements that I had alluded to earlier. First, you'll notice that for our table service restaurants, you can now go to the Disneyland app, and if you have a reservation, check in for your reservation. When your table's ready, you'll receive a notice to visit the restaurant host or hostess to be seated. No need to come in and out to let the staff know that you're here for your reservation. Then for mobile order, you can also place for quick service and snack locations throughout the theme parks and resort, you can go to the Disneyland app, place your order. Then when you arrive at the restaurant, you simply click that you're here. You'll receive a notification when your food is made fresh for you, picking up your food, have a seat and enjoy your dining. One pro tip with mobile ordering at the Disneyland resort is it is extremely popular, of course, over lunch and dinner time. So I recommend that you make your mobile order selections earlier in the day so that you can select the time that you would like to come by and pick up your lunch or dinner or some of your popular snacks. One of my personal favorites are the beignets and the um, 
mojitos over at the Mojito Bar in New Orleans Square or the very popular Dole Whip. And don't forget throughout our parks, you can use contactless payment, including Google, Google Wallet, and Apple Pay, keeping it from having to um, touch points and keeping you a little more less hands-on with things. I know that was a super fast, super quick, high level overview of the two theme parks at the Disneyland Resort, our downtown Disney area, our three resort hotels. Disneyland Resort is an incredible vacation for you to take now, particularly with the summer season coming. It's a wonderful long weekend destination, or if you are traveling with smaller kids, so convenient to be able to be into the parks and back to your hotel, all within walking distance of one another. And park hopping couldn't be easier to just hop back and forth between the parks as much as you like. With that, I'll open it up to any questions that you may have about the Disneyland Resort or any of our Disney destinations. Well, thank you, Frank. We'll wait and see if we have any questions that come in. When was your last trip to Disneyland, Frank? I am slightly obsessed with Disneyland. So my last trip was two weeks ago out okay. to the Disneyland Resort. Um, and what is so great, if you're here in the Midwest, it is a quick three hour flight from Minneapolis to either Orange County or LAX. And it is a perfect long weekend destination. With two theme parks in the downtown Disney district, you can easily cover a lot of ground and see a lot of great attractions and characters. The other part that's so great about Disneyland and why I tend to visit it so frequently is they continue to have constant different themed events going on throughout the year. So earlier in the year when I was out, they celebrate Lunar New Year at Disney California Adventure, which is a fun festival to enjoy, taking in and learning about how different cultures celebrate Lunar New Year. Of course, it's accompanied with fantastic food and merchandise and wonderful performances. Just recently when I was out there, we've got the Food and Wine Festival taking place at Disney California Adventure Park, and it was Dapper Day. So time to get dressed in your finest, head out and enjoy all of the sights and entertainment. Plus what I love even more now that we're um, further along in our reopening is hugs are back with our characters. So you can actually hug Mickey and Minnie or your beloved um, Disney character and they are out in force to get your pictures with. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Where would we find um, the different events that are going on? You mentioned that there's always different events going on. Like, yep. where would we find that? Yep, absolutely. Um, that one, of course, travel professionals, you've got access to that through your resources. For our guests, we listed in the Know Before You Go guide, the Disneyland app, and of course at Disneyland.com. And there are almost every week, there is some sort of different festival or event. Um, and then once we get to the fall season, it is, we go right from the Halloween season into the holiday season and more. So there's always something going on. For those that are traveling midweek, um, we do often offer periodically about once a month um, different midweek specialty events like um, 80s night or um, recently for Valentine's Day with Sweetheart Night. And these special ticketed events are an opportunity to enjoy Magic um, Disneyland Park with fewer crowds and all to a theme for the evening. And then coming for the holidays, um, this Halloween, we've just recently announced that Oogie Boogie Bash, which is our incredible Nightmare Before Christmas Halloween inspired events will be taking place again at California Adventure this upcoming fall. And we look forward to sharing details on when tickets will become available for that. And then we also love to celebrate the holidays big at Disneyland. So no matter when you are going, 
there is usually something special happening in the parks for you to take advantage of, or it may not be in the parks. We often have special entertainment um, taking place almost nightly at downtown Disney as well, often featuring on the weekends and select evenings, live entertainment out on stage and so much more. It's no matter when you go, it is an incredible time at the Disneyland Resort. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, I don't see any other questions come in, but we do thank you, Frank, so much for spending your time with us and talking about Disneyland today. If anybody um, wants to reach out to one of our Disney specialists, they can reach out to us on uh, www.tvlleaders.com or give us a call at 763-231-8870. Thanks all. Thank you.